virtually recognize the president as distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have the singular honor to General Service Star. You're welcome, sir. The general guest of honor and submit the parade to him. Subsequently, he will invite him to inspect the guards. Did you okay, dear? Come back, come back. The guest of honor, accompanied by the parade commander and the commander 053 Nigerian Air Force Camp Abuja, Air Commodore J. Usman, mounting the inspection van in preparation of the inspection of. Thank you. 
to which flying star in addition to the General Service Medal and the River Railway Star, which were awarded for his service in various military campaigns. He has also been privileged to benefit from the strategic leadership development training at his leisure time. He enjoyed service chiefs, very senior officers, Mr. Mugwish, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the inspection. Formation is also known as the aggressive routine or morale dream.
Their aggressive routine on morale drill is centered in boosting the morales of soldiers to face their fears and overcome the enemy. This formation is called the Infantry Square or Combat Force Formation. Any attack from any direction. This formation is capable of observing all ground and directing fire onto the observed ground. The all-round defense is truly a thinking man's game. May I humbly request that we give a resounding round of applause to the members of Double Score 36. Thank you. Members of the press, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is with great humility and depth of gratitude to Almighty God that I stand here today in appreciation of Nigerian Air Force family for this great occasion organized in my honor to celebrate my exit from the Nigerian Air Force. Indeed, today marks a significant milestone in my life as I deliver my validatory speed as the immediate past chief of the air staff. It is with mixed feelings that I address you today. First, with a sense of pride and accomplishment, having reached peak of my career as 21st chief of the air staff. Secondly, I'm also having, having a thing of nostalgia and the realization that I will really miss this great Nigerian Air Force family. Nevertheless, I am greatly comforted by the scripture that there is a time for everything under the sun. First and foremost, I would like to express my heart, my heartfelt gratitude to all the officers, airmen, airwomen, and our, of our esteemed Nigerian Air Force. Each of you have played a vital role in ensuring the safety and security of our nation. And it has been an honor to have led such a capable and a dedicated force. Your professionalism, skills, and unwavering commitment have truly made a difference in the defense of our skies. I need not remind you that during these past 39 years of my service, many of my colleagues fell by the wayside due to one reason or the other why some even pay the supreme price. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Distinguished invited guests, leadership is always a privilege as well as a great honor. During my tenure, we faced numerous challenges, both at home and abroad, from complex joint operations to humanitarian missions. The Nigerian Air Force has demonstrated our much capabilities and tenacity in addressing the contemporary challenges. We have maintained a state of readiness, adapting to the ever-evolving threats, and ensuring the protection of our airspace, as well as safety and security of our dear country. It has been a great honor, as well as a very challenging, 
and yet fulfilling endeavor. May I at this juncture recognize and appreciate the effort of the past chief of air staffs who have blazed the trail and laid the foundation upon which I built on to achieve the successes we recorded during my tenure as the chief of the air staff. May I especially thank and appreciate our retired senior officers whom I had worked with during this period. I want to appreciate members of 35th to 38th regular courses, particularly those of them that served as my principal staff officers. Let me acknowledge and appreciate members of the Air Power Consort and other retired officers that serve in one advisory role or the other in furtherance of our efforts to churn out pragmatic policies initiative for the service. May I use this opportunity to deeply acknowledge and applaud the cooperation of immediate past chief of defense staff, General Elio Irabo, and the service chiefs, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya and Vice Admiral Awa Zubair Gambo, through which we were able to synergetically pursue our national security imperatives without any iota of rivalry or antagonism. I truly appreciate the cooperation and teamwork. I would like to sincerely thank His Excellency, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, and all Nigerians for their unwavering support needed to add value to security and development of Nigeria. Permit me to acknowledge the support of the National Assembly and the entire Ministry of Defense staff, represented here by the PAMSEC, Dr. Ibrahim Kana Emena, who have contributed immensely to the successes we recorded while in the leadership of the service. Your commitment to our national security has been instrumental to our successes. Together, we prioritize modern, modernization efforts, enhanced strategic partnership, and promoted inter-service collaboration, ensuring that Nigerian efforts remain at the forefront of air warfare. I want to congratulate the chief of the air, the current chief of the air staff, Air Vice Marshal Hassan Bala Abaka, for taking over the mantle of leadership of Nigerian efforts to continue from where I left off. I am confident that he will lead the Nigerian efforts to a higher pedestal. I will urge all personnel of the Nigerian Air Force to continue to give their best in support of the current leadership of the service. You are inheriting an Air Force that is strong, resilient, and ready to face any challenge that comes our way. I am exceedingly delighted and profoundly honored that we have worked together as a team with all officers, airmen, and airwomen as well as civilian staff to move the Nigerian Air Force to a much higher level. As I pass on the, bat as I pass on the baton to my successor, I have every confidence that our Air Force will continue to soar to new heights, guided by the values of integrity, professionalism, and excellence. I urge you to tackle the challenges that lie ahead and never lose sight of our core mission which is the defense of our nations and its people. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to appreciate the branch chiefs, air officer commanding, commandants, managing directors, and commanders in the field. I thank you all most sincerely for your flinty support without which it would, it would have been impossible to achieve the modest successes recorded. I urge you all to give the new chief of the air staff even greater support to consolidate on our achievements. To all other officers, airmen, airwomen, and civilian staff, I say thank you all for your support. Finally, I wish to acknowledge the great support of our wives, starting from my lovely wife, Elizabeth Oluzbumi Amao. There is no doubt that without their understanding and support at the home front, we would not have had enough concentration 
on our task of moving the Nigerian Air Force forward. For this, I remain grateful to my darling wife and three sons, Timi, Ulua Tobi, Tulua Lokwe, and us, as well as my mother, brothers and sisters, and other family members for their support and encouragement. I will not forget to thank all the religious leaders and all that have stood in gap for me and the Nigerian Air Force. I'm humbled and privileged to have had the opportunity to serve as Chief of the Air Staff. It has been an incredible journey, filled with ups and downs, achievements and lessons learned. The memories and the experience will forever be etched in my heart. I wish the current Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tarid Lagwaja, Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, as, and of course, my successor, the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal Abubakar, and his wife, a most fulfilling and rewarding tenure of office. To all the invited guests, especially my course mates, members of 35th Regular Course and friends, I say thank you for coming, and I wish you Johnny Messi's back to your various destinations. Thank you all and God bless. That was the validity.
our marching towards the aircraft to bid farewell to the Nigerian Air Force family. The Nigerian Air Force will also always remember your contribution, sacrifice, and the quota you contributed for the development of the service.